Today, I'm gonna be opening the doors of y'all and letting y'all in my office. I'm gonna show you guys the entire office, including what I call the space station, which is where I stream record do all the creative work that goes into the videos and streams that you guys see. But welcome to my crib. This is my room. What's up, dude? No, 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 stay out of the camera, don't leave. All right, I wanna start the video off talking about my favorite piece of equipment in the entire office, and that's gonna be my standing desk from FlexiSpot. If you're old like me, or you just have lower back problems, and you sit in an office desk for a few hours at a time, invest in yourself by purchasing this bad boy. This desk is stable from every single angle, it's steady when moving up or down, and it's strong enough to support my 214 pound self, even as it lifts. You can also get accessories for your desk for cable management, different types of power strips, iPad or laptop stands, monitor mounts, keyboard trays, and so much more. I'm thankful I got this desk and I promise you this, I will never go back. You guys need it as well. This desk in particular has two customizable modes so you can program the optimum height for your sitting position as well as your standing position. Choose between your desktop options, between chipboard, bamboo, solid wood texture, bamboo with wireless charger, ergo series, gaming series, as well as chipboard with drawers. The options are honestly endless. If you guys need a lot of workspace, make sure you pick a top that supports the desktop size that you need. This one, for instance, goes up to 78 by 30 inches, which is a big boy. Also, you can choose between the E7T frame and the E7 Pro C frame. And of course, a C frame will support a lot more weight and go up a few inches taller. Click the link in the description below and use my code for $30 off the E7, E7 Pro, and the E7L. For the E7 Plus, use this code for an extra $50 off. So here you guys go, man, the room tour. I do have two different setups. We'll go over that here in a second. The cockpit, what you guys see on the daily. And then we'll talk about the editing station after that quick 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 hold up look at this look at my girl this is the station now it seems like a lot and to be honest it is i have extreme adhd if you guys haven't told from streams but so let's go over monitor number one this is obs this one i'll use specifically just to record raw gameplay i have a no commentary channel and i also have a gameplay channel so that's where this footage goes to and also when i spectate i'll record the gameplay here and i'll do the face cam up there Bringing me to the second one, that's what I stream from. That's everything stream related, my alerts, all that stuff is set up right there. I have my kick chat, my Twitch chat, and then this right here is my restream. I currently stream on three platforms. I'm about to open my Facebook back up after several years. But this chat right here kind of merges all three of them into it. Doesn't really work that well, so if I missed your messages, that's probably why. And then we go to here. This is the YouTube streaming software. This is what I see when I'm begging you guys for likes. Look at this, this is what I'm talking about. What are y'all doing, man? Your thumbs all broken. Um, but this is what I see basically. This is my YouTube, this is all the platforms in one. Again, kick Twitch, and of course I have my Discord. My alerts are currently down because Streamlabs makes a shit ton of money and can't fix their software. Hashtag not sponsored. This is gonna be my Sony A6100 camera. It's a DSLR. It's it's done me good. I would definitely like to upgrade here soon just for other projects. I, I really kind of want to get out of the house and do some recording and videographies, but that's a topic for another day. Um, I have my Go XLR. Also, you guys know I've been sick for the last two months. We've got cough drops on deck. Got my Go XLR mixer. Um, probably one of the worst investments I ever made. Not really surprised about my business. This is my stream deck. I always told myself I'd get a bigger one, but um, I never use this one anyway. It sits here. I might hit like a different scene, but all these other buttons I don't even use. All right, then we have my peripherals. I've got my keyboard. Corsair sent me this a year ago to do a sponsorship video on it. Um, I did, and I absolutely fell in love with it. This keyboard is the Logitech G915. I used that for several years. It was. It's great. It's still a great keyboard. It's now my streaming keyboard. The problem is, this one's better. So sh shout out to Corsair. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, there's no code or anything. Just click that link and purchase whatever you guys need from Corsair there. And then we have my controller. I don't play controller on Warzone, um, but I am a gamer off stream too. I've been doing a lot of trophy hunting on PS5 here lately. Um, and that's what I'll kind of use that for. When it comes to Warzone, I'm primarily mouse and key. Let's go ahead and talk about the mouse. This is the Punish Storm Breaker. One of my viewers, Evo, sent this to me. Um, this is a Badass mouse, man. Unfortunately, I had a rage moment during Call of Duty and it uh, got my hand pretty good. It was bleeding for a while, but this is the Punish Stormbreaker. I love this mouse. Very upset that I actually broke this. Um, if anyone knows anybody at Poonage, please help a brother out. Um, this is glorious. I'm using a glorious mouse pad as well. I love glorious products. This is just a little bit heavier than this. I really fell in love with light mice. So if you guys are gamers 
and you're like, I love heavy mice. I used to be that way until I discovered light mice. Then I've got my surround sound hidden back here. That's the subwoofer and I've got the speaker right there. Another one over here. Now my system is plugged in via aux, but it can connect Bluetooth as well. I just don't like having sub Bluetooth because of Wi-Fi and all other wireless peripherals. The Netgear switch as well, since I have several devices. I also have a switch plugged into a hub upstairs. That way the Wi-Fi is actually good since the internet is in the basement. It really wasn't the best quality for upstairs. I've got the Elgato key lights. They are great products. I do want to upgrade to the Amarin bad bitches that like photographers and real content creators use, not us stupid YouTubers and streamers. Got a PS5 wall mounted. This is a badass wall mount, man. I'll have to link this to you guys. I did not do that. And then here, this is what y'all are waiting for. And y'all give a shit about nothing else. This is it. So these are the two bad beasts. That one's a bad bitch too. But these are the two bad beasts right here. Um, this is my streaming computer. It's got a 3080 in it that used to be my gaming computer, but because Call of Duty can't make a game that's not optimized, I had to upgrade to the 4090 just so I can get the best frames. And it's really not because I play competitive. It's primarily for high quality gameplay. That way you guys can have high quality videos on YouTube. I don't want to be having you guys watch low frameage videos whenever we're spectating or streaming or whatnot. This right here, 4090, it's got all these fans. I can't get the RGB on these to work. They work when I turn on the computer and then they turn off. I've tried everything with the software. It had 128 gigs of RAM. I just took two sticks out because one of them went out, so I have to replace them. Um, but currently has 64 gigs. It's got the NZXT crack and cooler on it. I've got four M.2 drives in here. I've got two SSDs. I think total storage is like 12 terabytes in all. It also has an i9-14900KS processor. This is my streaming PC. This one has a 3080. It's got a Ryzen 9 5950X. 1000 watt power supply. This one has a 1200 power supply. Also the RAM is DDR5. This is DDR4 at 64 gigs. It also has a Kraken cooler, which clearly I am a huge fan of. It's got an Asus Strix motherboard. The reason why I didn't go with a badass motherboard on this one is because of this. The Asus Strix motherboard when I bought it was $800 at the time. It was one of the most expensive on the market and I've had nothing but problems with it. This one right here was $300. Everyone when I built this was trolling me like, wow, you went all out and then all of a sudden you cheaped out. I didn't really cheap out on it. That was one of the reasons, but the main reason why I got this motherboard was because it has four M.2 drive slots, which I definitely need. Let me come over here. Now, this is kind of deceiving. This is actually not the computer I edit on. That one is. The reason why I have a monitor right here and not right there is be because of my ADHD. Again, I've got to optimize my life to make it work. If you're ADHD, being your own boss, working from home, you have a tendency to get distracted. So what I did was set up a whole other monitor where I literally, all I can do is edit on here. Um, I use the surround sound from that computer so I can still hear it but it's just, I just edit. If I have all these monitors and stuff like that, dude, I'll end up on every website known to man and I'll never get anything done. Then we come to the couch. So this is more or less Karma's couch, but it is kind of my think tank as well. I'll lay there probably 15, 30 minutes a day, list out what I have to do for the rest of the day, come up with ideas or even take a nap, whichever I need. That's a green screen. If you guys were here for the early Verdance videos, you know exactly what the use for that was. Then I got my Funko Pop collection. Basically to keep it short, Venom's one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe. I've got most of the Venomized Avengers. I've got Gears of War, we've got Fallout, we've got Halo, we've got Skyrim, we've got Call of Duty. Of course, those are gonna be my top games ever. And it's funny that I say that, all you guys that play Call of Duty, look, we love COD, but start branching out playing other things. I've got the Wall of Aim. Currently, I've only got two control. Oh, I've got a third one over there, of course, but I've got those two. I've got the standard PS4. I've got my Halo Xbox controller, another Halo Xbox controller, Gears of War. I have two Elites that are in here. I've got probably 100 Xbox controllers in there, low-key. And then I have this controller here. We're not going to mention the company. I don't really want to talk bad about anybody, but the only reason it's hanging up there is because people always ask me the difference, and I love to explain why I went from these guys to Aim. Also check out aim controllers today. I am also a nerd, guys. I'm a gamer, I'm a gym addict. I love Legos and I love Pokemon too. We'll get into that in a second. So I got the TIE Fighter. Um, they did me dirty as fuck on this one, boy. Got some supplements right here. Got a little box of cigars. Of course, an espresso maker, little microwaves. So if I tell you guys I'm getting food, usually I'm grabbing in a meal prep out of the fridge, warming it up. Of course, I got my peacemaker right there. A little Mandalorian action. I just recently painted the walls. And if you guys again watch the channel, you already know. My beautiful daughter. Then I've got my beautiful daughter over here. Just gotta keep her up here. That way if I'm raging at Cod, I can just look right over and I'm like, you know what? Life's not that bad. One of my viewers, Ad Nexus, he's been with us for a while. His wife painted us this during my 47 day subathon. Um, I haven't hung it up. Like I said, I just redid the office. It's been completed for a week. So I haven't found a space for it yet. I think I'll we'll put it right there. Um, and then I've got the P51D Mustang. One of the first games I really started grinding was Combat Flight Simulator in like 
the late 90s, mid 90s. Um, I played that, played Combat Flight Simulator 2, Combat Flight Simulator 3, IL-2 Forgotten Battles, basically anything with an aircraft, I played the shit out of it, dude. I've always been a massive Pokemon fan, um, from a kid even to adulthood. I've kind of chilled out recently. But yeah, I collect a shit ton of TCG, it goes, it goes deep back there. I've got cards just laying out, cards for days. And again, my love for Legos as well. I've got two things from my childhood that I just can't get rid of, love for Legos and love for Pokemon. <sighs> And I guess gaming too. There's my YouTube plaque. We got this a few years ago. Channel's kind of been stagnant, but we about to get a gold one or another silver. We'll see. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a fold out playpen where I can set it up right there. My daughter can play Watch Miss Rachel while I'm sitting right here and editing my videos. Thank you all for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I know these videos aren't for everybody. So if you guys have watched a little of it or up until this point, I do appreciate you guys. This isn't the normal content that I do. If you guys have been here for five plus years, you know this is something we used to do on the regular. And I'd like to do it every now and then again, just to kind of, I don't know, just have a little bit of real time with you guys. Doing the commentary and streaming and stuff like that's fun. I love it, it's a blast. But I like to get a little bit personal with you guys too. Oh yeah, one last thing, look at my consoles, baby. I used to have a crazy addiction to consoles. I had probably every Xbox they ever made up until the new fridge Xbox. And of course, GameStop has got all those bitches on fire sale. But thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. And I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.